By heading west from the Anchorage Memorial, we find the entrance to the Arlington Wasteland Metro. Let's head inside and see what we find. As soon as we enter, we see a large stain of smeared blood with a bear trap at the center. It appears the trap has been reset, which could mean one of two things. The trapper has returned, taking his catch and resetting the trap before leaving, or the one to be trapped managed to pry open the steel jaws before crawling away. There is a nearby blood streak and a blood splatter not too far after that. Let's keep an eye out and see where it leads. On either sides of the tunnel are some pre-war foods which we can loot before heading deeper inside. The end of the tunnel has collapsed and cannot be traversed, which leaves us with the doorway marked by the sign Metro Access Employees Only. Before we have the chance to go inside, a feral ghoul reaver appears through the hole of a broken wall. With the reaver taken care of, we can go through the open door with one less worry in mind. Here we see several more bloodstains dotting the room, with the largest of the three leading through the broken wall. On the other side we hear the rumbling of ancient machinery, and another blood trail disappearing under a doorway. Stepping through we wander down a short passage to another door. Opening this, we see a flaming barrel, which usually indicates the presence of either a raider or a scavenger. On the other side of the central pillars, we find the skeletal frame of some unknown person. I can't be certain, but I think we found the culprit of the bloody mess which led us here. As to what happened, I think a wastelander or a scavenger decided to call this metro home and fortified the entrance with traps. Somehow they stepped onto the bear trap, pried themselves free, and hobbled into this back room where they died from blood loss, or maybe infection. But that's just my opinion. What do you think happened? Just beyond the unfortunate skeleton is another passageway. Taking this leads us down a utility tunnel and around a bend to an unsuspecting ghoul. Past the rotting corpse is a small seating area with a burning lantern. Nothing to be seen in here, so heading onwards down a dusky tunnel and rounding another corner, we see a door. Going through brings us to the station of Arlington National Cemetery. Around the platform we find six bottle caps and three new Coca-Colas, and the corpse of a regulator on the stairs leading west. The body will only be present if you have the Lawbringer perk, so keep that in mind before travelling to this location. Inside the regulator's pocket is a bounty notice with the subheading Junders Plunkett. The note reads, Notice to all good men and women seeking lawful bounties in the capital wastes. Let it be known that the murderous person known as Junders Plunkett, of fair complexion, average height, and missing one good eyeball, is offered for bounty, either dead or alive, in the sum of 1,000 caps or similar compensation of expended equipment, and or medical expense. Junders Plunkett was last seen committing theft and murder in the township of Canterbury Commons. The apprehending person should exercise special caution, as the bounty personage is noted for an uncommon aptitude with small, concealable blades. Is Junders Plunkett the one responsible for killing this regulator? It's likely. It's also likely that the hostile markers to the southwest are the ones responsible. Let's see who it is. A group of three wandering raiders. None of the raiders here have a unique name, so Junders might have moved location after his encounter with the lawman. Let's take the trio down and see if they have anything pointing towards the wanted man. All we find is your typical loot and no notes although raiders can barely write, so that was wishful thinking. Back at the top step of the staircase, we can turn right and follow the short road to a waterlogged crater. It looks as if someone was using this as a dumping ground for radioactive waste. Turning around and heading back the other way, we see a Pulowski Preservation Shelter. 
Inside is a mannequin, sexy sleepwear, a bottle of wine and two shot glasses. Was this mannequin expecting company? If we look closely, we can see the model is wearing makeup. Whoever set this up must have been pretty desperate. At the end of the southern road, we come to a dry fountain with nothing inside. There's a large golden statue of some unknown goddess. Sections of the wall here have collapsed and several of the stone faces appear to be missing. Where do they even go? To the southeast is a road we can follow into Arlington Cemetery. The cemetery itself is dedicated to the military and has several landmarks dotted across the many hills, all of which are surrounded by multiple headstones. Inside of the cemetery we find a statue of four muses, which are smaller versions of the one from the fountain. There are two large stone monuments that have nothing of interest, and then we have the lone house sitting atop the western hill. We can see a flagpole with its missing counterpart, and around back we find a first aid kit resting upon a rock, and just below that, a hidden stash of jet. Inside the Arlington house, we find the one and only Junders Plunkett. The man is instantly hostile and seems to be using a pair of spiked knuckle dusters. I decided to have some fun and use the incendiary pistol from LOB Enterprises. This worked relatively well and caused Plunkett to spontaneously combust, painting the entire room with his flaming insides. The note did mention Junders missing an eyeball, but for me his head exploded, so I didn't get to see. But if we did get to see his face, it would have looked something like this. Inside the bounty's pockets are a regular finger, Junders Plunkett's finger, which we can use to collect the bounty from Sonora Cruz, a unique pair of spiked dusters dubbed Plunkett's Valid Points, and then your usual Raider loot. If we travel to the Regulators HQ on the map just here, remember you must have the Lawbringer perk for this to appear. You can interact with Sonora Cruz, the Regulators leader, who will award the player 1000 caps for the finger of Junders Plunkett. Well, it's about time someone put that bastard out of his misery. And here's the reward for it. Spend it well, Lawbringer. Back inside the Arlington house, we can take the stairs leading down into the basement, where we find a stealth boy inside a locked safe, two bottles of Radex on the shelf, along with the Luck bobblehead. The inscription reads, There's only one way to give 110%. This permanently raises our Luck attribute by one point. To the left is a bottle cap mine on a workbench, a first aid box underneath the dingy bed, and an entire shrine dedicated to Abraham Lincoln. This shrine was most likely erected by an escaped slave, perhaps one of those at the Temple of the Union. Although, who's to say that Junders Plunkett wasn't an escaped slave, and was the one to build this shrine? Surrounding it are three vases with what has to be the biggest collection of flowers found throughout the entire game. These were probably collected from the cemetery above, where we can actually find three sets of flowers growing. This is a rare spectacle, as we all know that the Capital Wasteland is known for its depressing sea of brown. Also, there are three bottles of wine, a knife, and if we look down, a streak of blood leading beneath the cinder blocks, turning the shrine from one of prayer to a more ritualistic feel. Combine that with Lincoln's glare and you have yourself an uncomfortable situation. Back on the ground floor, we can search the kitchen for some first aid and a big book of science. On the first floor, we see a number of toys in a child's room, a broken bathroom, and a hidden safe behind the closet in the parents' room. And that's it for the Arlington house. Stepping outside and heading south will eventually lead us out of the cemetery and into the metro leading us to the Falls Church area. If you haven't already, you can see that video here. Turning around and heading up the stairs brings us to the loading bay of Mama Dolce's processed foods, which is a task for another time. And there we have it. Arlington National Cemetery, Junders Plunkett and his valid points. If you enjoyed today's video, then consider leaving a comment, liking the video, sharing it with a friend, subscribing to see more, and enabling notifications to avoid missing any activity. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next adventure.